Psst. Open your door. You. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Inspector, I have something to tell you now. You've come by this direction. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's annoying. That's your theory. Oh, Rose. I would like to, you to keep to yourself what I'm going to tell you. Call accent. Give it up. Oh dear. All right. Speak freely, Rose. Well, this is a very delicate subject. It concerns the relationship between my husband and Rebecca. So you knew about it? <laughs> yes. Tom is a poor liar, you know. <laughs> of course. Go ahead. This was all Rebecca's fault. Tom is easily influenced, and it was she who cooked everything up. Go on, Rose. What do you mean? Well, last night, I'd left my knitting bag on the deck. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to look for it, and as I was passing the Carabajan's cabin, what did I see? Rebecca and Tom were leaving. They were whispering, and it looked as if they were arguing. And then... Then... Tom approached the guardrail. He threw something overboard. I didn't see what it was, but now it's obvious that it was the murder weapon. Inspector, believe me, Tom has nothing to do with it. It's that witch who plotted everything. Well, thank you for being so honest, Rose. <laughs> Are you going to arrest them, Inspector? Hmm. Quite possibly. But before I do, I have to finish my investigation. Now she's also going to lock the door. I would expect we will not get any access to her now. Uh, let's have a go. Can you knock? See if they... Because we know they're in there. <laughs> no. Okay, fair enough. Rose. <laughs> I left my... Watch in there. Right. I can't progress the case without it. Okay. Uh, right. How am I supposed to keep track of the time? Exactly. I need my ten minutes. We got nothing for any of that, time-wise. So, just a bit of summation, I guess. Yeah. Let's have a quick check via Julio as to whether any of... The oh, bloody hell. Inspector, I have this something Fabiani. to say. It must be Fabiani. So you need to approach in the direction of whichever. Thanks for your time, Inspector. What I have to tell you won't take long. I'm at your service, Father. Well, I know who killed poor Nicholas. Look at his mad eyes. <laughs> How big they are. Continue, Thava. This bothers me very much. Suzanne is a very good friend, but I can't keep the secret any longer. Oh, bloody hell. Out with it, Thava. You certainly know that Suzanne held a great affection for Agnes. Well, poor Suzanne is convinced that Nicholas killed her friend. What's going on there? Oh no, he's just in shock. He's been eating blackjacks. <laughs> just... Sorry, I've had licorice all day. 
and she insisted on being invited on board to take revenge. I swear that I didn't know anything, Inspector. How would I have known that she would take advantage of this cruise to kill Nicholas? Thank you, Father. That will help my investigation. Inspector, believe me, I have nothing to do with it. Oh. Hang on, we're at oh. four. Oh, never mind. Four ten. <laughs> four ten. We've made much more progress than we thought. Um, Maybe two thirty is where we start on the last one. Yeah, possibly. Four ten. Four ten, man. And it finishes at six, right? So. Yeah. We're getting there. Though that was just the first ten minute slice. I guess we've we've talked to everyone about their theories now. Then. I think so. Does that cover all the plots we've kind of? Except for the dick Except one, which kind of was. Dick, yeah. He was the only one not really accused of anything, which immediately makes me suspicious. <laughs> but why? Because they all hate him and they all think he's that's weird, isn't it? So who accused who there? That Rebecca accused Rose. Rose accused. Tom and Rebecca. Tom and Rebecca, but Rebecca mace mostly. Like yeah. Tom's a patsy because everyone thinks he's a useless heap of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Just a log for the ride. Um uh Daphne accused Father Fabiani. Fabiani. And Fabiani has accused um, Suzanne. Suzanne, the detective. <laughs> the drunk Who detective. I guess we can go talk to because I don't think Julia's going to accuse anyone because Julia is just Julia. <laughs> I like everyone. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Do you want to talk about cars with me? Yeah, Julia is um barely in this story. Yeah. Maybe, though, that means he did it. <laughs> I don't know, I just I don't think so. <laughs> Should be more suspicious of these characters from a meta-narrative. No. No, you just no. think he's a simple and it's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> just literally an innocent bystander. There's gotta be one. No, you're right. It looks like unless unless we can start talking to people about other people's theories, that would be cool. <laughs> if a little gossipy, um, yeah, not really the way a detective would do stuff. I think. Well, maybe I don't know. He think they think this. You think that. You'd normally play people off against each other to try and figure out who's could be caught in a lie. Basically, I don't know if that's what really we should be looking out for. Um, okay, there's nothing extra in here. Uh, I guess just nothing in there. Not nothing in there. No. Fabiani called you out. <laughs> Fabiani says you're a murderer. <laughs> the site. Um. Yeah, no, no, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I did wonder if there'd be like a catch-all thing, but it looks like we've still got uh, something to something do. Something else to do. Tom's still nowhere to be found. He wasn't in his cabin. Hey, we know they threw something overboard. That's true. How do we find out? But that isn't a conversational topic either, is it? No, no. Doesn't seem to be. Well, I didn't check Tom, so let's have a quick look. Just make sure. No. No. Oh, we are a strange detective. Went through like four rather re 
reasonably detailed cutscenes or conversations and none of them are um, referenceable. Like you say, maybe they're just to give the player ideas. Catch you up no, in case you haven't made any, it. any connections yeah. yourself. Maybe. Yeah, that could well be the case. Let's go down here. We haven't been down here in a while. Hello. We still need something, don't we? We need some equipment. We still haven't yeah. found. Um, to but get... this doesn't seem like that sort of game now. It's weird. What, that there'd be an actual like we've puzzle never picked... in here? <laughs> Why? Yeah, we've, we pick up... We pick up... To, like We pick up keys and letters... Yeah, I might be entirely wrong, but this is feels out, like is out of reach and up top, and it says that's the thing that would need to be adjusted to um to get it. Yeah, I agree. It's just also I'm entirely assuming that we'll get in here at some point. Like, so I can't remember whether we do or don't from my uh, playthroughs when I was younger. Um... But usually, you know, if they set something up so it's surround, you'd expect to go in it at some point. That is a massive, like, Chekhov's gun, that room with <laughs> ma about 50 unnecessary boards. On yeah. It, when you could have just done one. <laughs> it's just like... Or just lock the door. Yeah. Have we talked to him about anything like this? Like... I don't know. I never saw this letter... Ever seen this letter? And so what? I remember that. It's rather surprising, a rose. I don't see why. Uh, name doesn't. That all sounds familiar to me. It's strange because it. They seem to be a bit more. Um, Hesitant to give you more things to click on, but I don't know what else we're supposed to do. I might have to start. I might look in a minute. Yeah, I don't. I'd rather not have to go through everything. Yeah. But um, equally, I'm not going to know. With this huge list of things you could possibly talk about, it's hard to know whether you've missed anything. And we've had that a couple of times. Um, I'm just going to give the deck or the um, lower floor a walk round first. Let's see if there's anything that stands yeah, someone, out. So, someone's still... going to go, pssst. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some information for you. <laughs> they don't want anything to do with us until they want to use us for the propagating their mad theories about who did it. No one seems really bothered at all about the murder. Like, until no, now. They just, <laughs> they just want to point other people in the in a bad direction. Mm. It's like they suddenly realised that someone was killed. Now someone's going to have to be arrested. <laughs> That's how it works. Well, if you don't know, <laughs> we're going to pick one of you at random. <laughs> well, it's going to be all of them, isn't it? It'd be all—all all of them would be in custody at the very least. There would be only eight people. Mm, it's true. They'd on be the more, ship, there would be more questioning, I think, beyond the ship reaching port. Um, it's one of those. It's one of those. Like I, <laughs> I, I think murdering someone on a ship seems like a terrible idea. Oh. When the ship is only full of like. A private party. <laughs> <laughs> this has been like a big cruise with loads of other people on it. Yeah, you might be. That's a, one thing. Might be able to hitman your way out of it. Yeah. Um, but in this situation where <laughs> it's like you, everyone knows everyone else. Yeah, but this is the way with these mur these sort of closed room murder mysteries. True, true. Um, Julio. Um, 
Alright, that will be everyone. I'm just going to pop up here and collect my thoughts. <laughs> I wonder if... Hmm, it's not really what I meant, Raoul. Where are you going? That's that's where he looks for the sea. Hmm, okay, right. I'm going to have a look then, because I really don't know what to do now. Okay. Okay. Okay, apparently we... So there might be a conversational trigger. Right. So let's just follow these steps. So the first thing it says to do is go to the bar and talk to Suzanne about Rebecca and Tom's relationship, specifically. Which is definitely a trigger, uh, an item that we've had for ages. Yeah. And I'm sure we would have... Used it. Yeah. But let's see if something new comes out of her mouth. If so, then that's ridiculous. It's too much. Again, it would help if you had a thing where it greyed out things that had no yeah. further prompting, and then if it needed, if it had them more follow-up, you could at least see that there was more to per push at a particular time. Otherwise, yeah, you literally have to just go through every person and just go through everything. Every time, every, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, uh, Rebecca and Tom's relationship. Okay, so we've had that. Yeah, two. we've definitely had that. All right. So does this? Oh, that's weird. Then go so that must open a trigger for something. Go to the rear hall and talk to Dick about Tom Rebecca affair and Tom Rebecca's plot. I think something we've already also already done. Yeah. I'm just hammering a few of those. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, Dick is hanging out. You can give me some useful information for a change. So it's like Rebecca and Tom's. Affair, and then... Uh, who was it? It was Rebecca, so it's all of these, isn't it? It's Affair and then Plot, I thought. These two are starting to hide, we've already read this. Knife. Large knife. Um, and then Tom Rebecca's Plot. None of my business, mostly. Yeah, so we had those. So maybe these are triggers that you might not have already tried if... For some reason, you were being selective about what you were asking people, mm. um, which I have seen no reason to <laughs> ever do. What on earth? What? Yes, yeah, we've so what... seen both of those. Yes, yeah, so we've had those bits, and that just gave us ten minutes. This is the yeah. This is kind of a maddening thing, right? And then go to Raoul and Julio's cabin. Well, of course. The room that should be empty. Oh wow, I actually got there. The room that should be empty, yes. And there's a note on the floor. Yeah. So it is was another missing object that is ready now. Sir, please come quickly, as I have something important to tell you. I wait for you in my cabin. So must we take that as well? Or will he Hector's just refuse? note. Didn't say Hector on it. <laughs> so if you could just leave it. <laughs> it looks like you can just leave it.
This is Hector's note you found in your room. Alright. I'm surprised he had time to do that while he was cleaning that office room. So, should we go talk to Hector? Yeah, I guess so. I see no reason why not. And do what he asks. For some reason I feel it's more polite to go outside his room and then... And then knock. Right, yeah. Or just go in, which I don't think you can even knock on his door. No, it's... he's a lower club. Oh. In Inspector, quick! The corpse. Nicholas. This wasn't Nicholas. Actually, <laughs> the corpse. <laughs> the murderer is... Is... Ah! Are we just leaving? What, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what would you put to... Go back in there. What are you doing? <laughs> Man's just been murdered. What's wrong with you? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Hector is dead. <sighs> so the corpse wasn't Nicklos. The corpse wasn't Nicholas. Is that what they said? He said that just then. The corpse. It wasn't Nicholas. Um, the murderer is... Ah! Nice. Yeah. So he knew who the murderer was. He did. And he's now dead. From and, something... Yeah. I have... Because it, all he will say is Hector is dead. There's no like, what did he die from? Well, maybe there's no noticeable thing. So maybe it's like poison or something. He's just lying there with his shirt unbuttoned. He can't do anything. And then he just leaves the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Good time. It's been good times. Nice to see you. I'll just let you sleep. Um, should we check the office? For like... Because I'm not really sure what for, Where the body but, yeah. is. Like, this is a very... Actually, this is a very pertinent question. Like, they moved the body. Where the hell did they move the body? Uh, right. So there's not going to be anything in that chest, despite the fact it was empty at the beginning, right? That chest. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Let's have a look. Things have a habit of not being empty. No, hopelessly no, empty. They have tidied up in here. This chair is now standing. Yeah, and the bin is now. Yeah, in the, the middle wall. of the room. Well, Wait. that's what Hector was doing. He was cleaning everything up. Why would you put a chair there? Yeah, it's an odd choice. This chair really fits the middle of the room. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was quite... That was exciting. That was a bit of... Someone else is dead now. Yeah, Hector's dead. I guess we have to talk to everyone about it. Do you reckon we'll even be presented with the option? <laughs> Just don't tell anyone that Hector's dead. Well, that that would be a genuinely decent, like, um, detective gambit. Like, yeah. Try and catch someone who knows about this because he's in his room and no one apparently Talks ever to him. moves anywhere really that sees him. You could be like trying. For some to... reason, I expect I expect everyone to just know. Yeah. yeah like, you're going to go out there and everyone's going to be like, oh my god, Hector's dead. Hector told us. <laughs> <laughs> he went around and told everyone before he died.
Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to think right now. I mean, I can't believe Hector's dead. <laughs> you miss him already. Yeah, him and his strange, like, weightlifting. Yeah, it's sort of circus vibe. That he uh, was promoting at all times. <laughs> Just don't... Oh! Nope. Oh! <laughs> now it's my territory.